Hey guys, welcome back for Part B Footnotes for February 2021. Before I go to our analytics and start looking at um, the monetization stuff that we got going this month, I wanted to briefly mention our 1,000 subscriber challenge uh, because, of course, we wouldn't be able to run ads and hit this 1,000 subscriber milestone if it weren't for the response we got from the challenge, which is thanks to you guys. So I did want to cover this really briefly here, just looking at the month of January. When we kicked off, we had a really good response of subscribers, and we still had about 300 to gain. And as the month progressed, we put weekly updates out. So you can actually kind of see where those updates were posted, um, just in terms of another call to action to help us reach the milestone. Um, and within the last three or four days of the challenge, it didn't look like we were going to make it. There were still... Uh, 40 or so subscribers to go with three or four days left of the challenge until the day of February 1st um, We had a huge response jumping all the way up again past 30 subscribers in a single day and bringing that required number down to zero so uh, the blue line here was subscribers per day and again, as you follow this through the month, you can see kind of where it peaked when we posted those updates. The red line was how many we still needed until we got to 1,000, and those numbers are over here. So you can kind of look at this and tell um, how that journey went last month, how this January uh, was actually higher than usual because of this challenge. Um, and again, all of this leading to us to be able to monetize the channel. So let's go and look at that. Um, here in the last 28 days, um, I'll just fix this here to February 1st so we can just look at this month. Um, almost 20,000 views this month and over $10 of ad revenue coming in. So this is kind of what I wanted to look at the most um, and I'm sure what you guys want to see just you know like how much money do we actually make now that we're running ads on the channel. Um, the answer is about 50 cents a day. So we started we actually got started on the 8th that's when we had our approval go through um, and I was really surprised that it happened so quickly because as you go through some of the um, information about you know getting your channel monetized and some of the frequently asked question pages that you read through uh, a lot of places talk about it taking up to a month to get approved for monetization um, so basically when you hit there's two benchmarks there's a thousand subscriber uh, benchmark and a four thousand watch hour benchmark um, and like I mentioned in part A, we actually hit that 4,000 watch hours last year in 2020, uh, I think in October sometime. So we, we'd reached to that and we were kind of ready to move on in terms of, you know, the requirements needed to monetize. Uh, we were just looking to hit that 1,000 subscriber benchmark. And that's why we did run the challenge. We wanted to reach that sooner rather than later. Um, and so, of course, that being successful, we were able to send in the application sooner rather than later. And I think I I gave that a couple days because we did have a thousand subscribers on the first of February, um, but then that actually dropped back down, and for four or five days it was back at like 986, 990 subscribers. So I gave that you know four days, four or five days to get back up to that thousand subscriber mark. And then I sent in the application to be reviewed um, to whoever does that at YouTube. And I kind of expected it to take the month of February, and maybe we would see stuff rolling in sometime in March. So um, I, I was definitely having longer-term expectations for this. And lo and behold, February 8th um, kind of got the e I think it was through email, uh, the acknowledgement that we had been approved to start running ads. And some additional tools showed up here in YouTube Analytics. Uh, in YouTube studio so if you're not familiar with this side of YouTube as a creator I would definitely encourage you to check it out a little bit more there's a lot of really powerful tools that can be used to understand um, how your channel performs even without running any ads or anything on that side of things I've been using um, YouTube studio pretty much since we started the channel um, I think that was right when they were rolling out the beta they were ending the beta for studio about when we got started with YouTube. So I've been I've been using this pretty much the entire time that I've been running our channel, uh, which has been over two years now. So we started running those ads on February 8th. Like I said, about 50 cents a day. There was one day that was above average for some reason um, by about three times. The 16th, um, we pulled in a dollar and 50 cents. 
and then it dropped back down to about 50 cents. So um, that gives us a total of $10.89 for the month. Um, remember, since we didn't start until the 8th, so this is um, going to be um, a monthly average would probably be closer to $15 in the, you know March and April. Um, and we also haven't put ads on every single video. So just in terms of like how many of these views, uh, a question I had was how many of these views were monetized? And I went into advanced mode. There's a couple of things you can you can kind of tweak to see the actual numbers. And as far as I can tell, um, there were about five, I want to say, 3,500 monetized views um, just based on one of the statistics that I saw in that advanced mode. Um, and so that, that gives you about 20% of the views that we had this month um, were monetized with ads. Um, so that I don't think that necessarily means uh, this number could be five times higher. Uh, it definitely would give you a rough estimate for how much you know um, every every view being monetized would maybe give us closer to forty or fifty dollars rather than um, thirty five hundred views being monetized giving us eleven dollars. Uh, the other thing is it's not like the same across the board in terms of um, what kind of ads give you uh, a revenue. So this can be let's see here. I think there was revenue here we go this can be a uh, various sources of ad types you can have a skippable video ad which is actually the one that is bringing us the most in terms of percentage wise of the revenue a uh, bumper ad is the little one that shows up at the bottom down here and display ad is the one that shows up over on the side a non-skippable video ad is just one that plays before the video that you can't skip and then unknown would be well it's zero percent so it doesn't matter so um, we're putting skippable ads most of the time when we put an ad on a video it's a combination of these and I think probably 80 percent of the time we're putting on a skippable ad because um, that is responsible for the highest amount of revenue but I also like putting in the bumper ads and display ads because those are less intrusive and you can um, you can almost ignore them while you're watching the video. Like, you know, the ones that show up down here, um, they kind of turn transparent if you don't close them out. And then the ones over on the side, you basically don't even see. So I like putting those in because they don't really disrupt the content as much. Um, but those really don't bring in as much money as the skippable ads. So, you know, one of the goals on the channel now being to bring in a little bit of revenue to kick back and support what we're doing. So we do want to put those in when it seems like it would be beneficial to do so. Um, the other thing to look at here, top earning videos, definitely putting the ads on the videos that are doing well month after month. Um, that was one of the first things I did on the 8th and the 9th was really look at which of our videos are doing the best um, over um, pretty much the entire time that they've been published. So our tutorials of Studio and LEGO Digital Designer, um, I actually knew way before we were approved that those are the ones I definitely want to have ads running on. Um, and so those were some of the first ones that I went ahead and monetized. And the other ones, you know, you just kind of look through and see which videos are doing good. Um, the Mosaic tutorial one is currently our top performer. Even though it doesn't receive as many views as the tutorials, I think it has something to do with the quality of the views, how many people are staying to watch the whole thing. Um, if someone shows up to watch one of my tutorials, but they only, they're only there for 30 seconds, and I have ads as a mid-roll halfway through the video, they're never going to watch those, and that's never going to register as a monetized playback. So I think with the Mosaic tutorial, more of the viewers there are staying for longer on that video and therefore um, maybe the ads that are down here at the bottom or on the side are generating more just in terms of um, how much involvement there is with the viewer. I'm still not familiar with how all this works. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes in terms of you know how the different levels of revenue are generated but um, like I said Kind of excited to learn about this going forward. Um, I think it's really going to be probably a year, almost a year before I really understand, you know, the 
revenue per mill and the playback based uh, cost per mill these are these are metrics that are very helpful and kind of give you benchmarks for how your videos are performing if you know what they refer to and if you know how they're calculated and I still have to get used to how you know how these numbers um, interact with the rest of our content and so you know for the past two years I've been using this platform YouTube studio to understand which videos perform well in terms of views and percent watched and click-through rates and all that so I've got you know I've got the view metrics down pat um, but here 20 days into revenue metrics I'm still learning the ropes I don't know as much about these numbers as some of the other stuff um, but this one is kind of the main one to look at right now 20 days into the channel being monetized we have eleven dollars of revenue from ads hurrah hurrah yeah great stuff um, it's, it's exciting it's not a lot of money but it's exciting it's kinda cool and you have to start somewhere so you know it, it's great it's good stuff um, let's look at one specific video here I'll pull up my one of my tutorials uh, and so for the overview uh, this just shows lifetime um, so here is everything let's go to the last 28 days just for the month of February and we can see views on this tutorial are pretty steady um, getting up to a hundred and some per day which is is pretty good it, it's taken a while to get to this point um, but as a tutorial it's kind of been established now this is one of the first videos that I put out two years ago so it's pretty much established in the algorithm in terms of if people search for a digital designer tutorial this one will probably be in the top results um, just because it's been out for a little while and it's had uh, good feedback from the algorithm before um, I'm not claiming to know about how the algorithm works I just know that since I published this video it's consistently received a lot of views and it seems to be holding up pretty good so the estimated revenue here from this video 65 cents it actually shows you per day how much it earns um, and because you don't have to go by units of cent here in um, analytics and ad revenue it actually gets down to like less than a penny some days so here is 0.4 cents on the 13th here is one cent on the 24th so there's a lot of variation here if we go back and forth between revenue and views there's not a really strong correlation here's a dip on the 13th and here is yeah, maybe a little dip on the 13th but it's not like you know peak for peak the same so not necessarily saying that every view has the same amount of money coming back in um, I know you guys a lot of you guys watching this uh, will be interested in monetizing your channel someday so just going into that and kind of looking at a channel that has just been monetized within the last month kind of what that looks like I I didn't really have anything that I wanted to say specifically about all this but I did want to show uh, an example of total revenue eleven dollars at this point and also an example of a specific video that we monetized right away on the eighth so just videos that get consistent views don't necessarily make consistent money I guess is what I'm trying to say at least from this perspective and this is skewed to the very low end of ad revenue coming in because a hundred views a day may seem like a lot but for the people that run YouTube channels for a living that's like that's circus peanuts that's like nothing so I think by the point where you're getting thousand views a day ten thousand views a day this might look a little more consistent but we don't have any videos at that level performing at that level so I can't give you any insight as to what that looks like from a monetary point of view all I can say is this is what it looks like for some of our best performing videos that we were sure to add ads to right away um, bringing that couple pennies in a day it's not bad it's not bad so the other thing um, that I wanted to mention just with the ads that we're running is we can really narrow in the scope on each video about which kind like which types of ads get run and beyond that we can also go in and I didn't want to show this on camera because um, reading through the terms and conditions it did get a little specific about what you're allowed to share and what you're not 
I can share the total amount of money earned. I can share like a view at YouTube Studio here showing, um, you know, how we can put different types of ads on. But I'm pretty sure I can't show you some of the inner workings of the AdSense account information where you actually choose there's categories of ads that you can choose to show or not to show. So I wanted to mention this, but I can't show a screen recording of it based on what I read in terms and conditions. Um, but yes, there is a way to say this type of ad I'm fine with running on the channel and this type of ad I do not want to run on the channel. You can turn those on and off. Um, there's almost a hundred categories, I think, just when I was looking through a couple couple weeks ago that you can actually go in and fine-tune to a very precise level of detail um, and so like political ads you can turn those on and off um, other you know ads that might not be suitable for younger kids you can turn those on and off so I'm not out to put ads on every video but I did want to be sure that there was some revenue coming in from the videos getting a hundred views a day 50 views a day um, the tutorials that I've put out there that for the most part the views coming in are not subscribers. So some of the content from this month related to our giveaways, I knew that was gonna be a lot of you guys that are subscribed, um, kind of coming in to see who won and then going back out. So I just left the ads off of those um, just so that you could get that info and go about your day. Um, and at the end of the day, compared to, uh, like at the end of the month, views from those videos compared to our tutorials that are monetized, very small percentage, so not necessarily missing out on a lot of ad revenue there. Uh, you will notice that I think every video Josh has on the channel is monetized, and if it's not, then I have to get it there because that was something he said he wanted to have. Um, all of Josh's videos, as much ads as possible running on those. That's just the way Josh wants to do it, nothing wrong with that, um, but he and I do have slightly different approaches on you know which ones we want to put ads on and to what degree those ads are running personally this is not something I'm working towards making a career but I am excited that it's to a point where it's actually um, giving back a little of what we have put in um, what I have put in I'm not buying Lego sets to review on the channel I still buy Lego because it's my hobby and the YouTube channel is an extension of my hobby so I'm not necessarily, I haven't necessarily put a lot of money invested to make sure that this channel does well. Um, I think it's doing well probably because of that approach, to be honest, of, you know, I'm putting this out there to see how it goes and I'm not trying to force it. I think that's a big part of um, how successful it is to you and it is to me. And at the end of the day, something that is an extension of a hobby bringing in a little bit of money it's great it's a great thing i'm not exactly sure where josh is on everything i mean his approach at monetizing everything right off the bat kind of interesting we'll see how it goes for him um i'm not exactly sure what percentage of this 11 dollars is his yet from his videos that's something we'll work out um just between the two of us in terms of you know how we actually calculate that and break it down um thankfully there's a way to see you know exactly how much ad revenue is coming from each individual video so that's probably how we'll do it also this money coming in won't necessarily like all be going right back to the channel I'm not I don't think I'm going to be spending you know this eleven dollars oh I need to find an eleven dollar set to review for the channel I think I'll just kind of pull this all together and then keep doing what I've been doing when I bring when I have Lego coming in when I make an eBay lot purchase, when I buy stuff at a Lego store, I put it on the channel because I'm excited about it and because that's what this YouTube channel is. It's an extension of whatever I'm doing with Lego at the time. So at some point, that may be something we're able to do where if we have a big boost in ad revenue, you know, like I'm talking to five years down the road, um, where we have maybe a really strong $50 day or $100 day it's like, all right, I'm going to put this poll out there to see what you guys want to see reviewed on the channel. That's something a lot of the bigger channels do where, you know, running a YouTube thing is actually their job. And um, a lot of their performance is based on the reception of their viewers. Um, that's not something we're doing, I guess, is what I want to say.
All right, I've covered a lot of ground, um, kind of at a shallow level, but you know, a comprehensive look at what the channel has been doing now that it's bringing in some ad revenue and kind of what that looks like just getting started. So that's kind of where I want to leave it for part B of the footnotes. Uh, like I mentioned in part A, we'll probably do this, this A and B thing at the end of March as well and just have um, general channel milestones and updates in part A and then the financial side with the ad revenue in part B, looking at that in a similar way. Um, maybe a little bit of switching things around, but for the most part, I feel like this is a good way to do it, just kind of keeping it separate. If things are slow, I might combine them. I don't know. We'll see in a month what it looks like. In any case, yeah, $11 in to the positive side of a YouTube channel. Doesn't feel bad at all. <laughs> Thanks for helping us get here, guys, and we will see you next time on Brick System Brothers.